Hey Mike, thanks for sending this file over. Um, as we talked about on Instagram, I just wanted to talk about some of the bottom finish options that you have. Now I know we talked about doing horizontal and you weren't a huge fan of the tool path marks that that leaves. So I thought I would show you another potential way you can do that. And the alternate way to do this is to use the 2D pocket command. So what we're talking about is you have this adaptive and then you have a contour around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this contour I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna suppress it for now. Because I'm gonna do it a slightly different way. So in a second, Fusion will get done calculating this. Okay, so there we have in our adaptive. Now one of the things adaptive is really awesome at is removing a lot of material quickly. One of the things it doesn't do such a good job at is leaving a decent service finish. So my rule with adaptive is I will never leave, I'll never go directly to the finish size on the walls. Sometimes I will on the floor if it doesn't matter. But oftentimes I don't because I don't like the, the service finish that leaves down there. So I'm going to edit your adaptive. I'm going to go over to the passes tab. And you're leaving six thousandths on the walls. So I'm going to leave six thousandths on the floor as well. So that leaves me with something that I have to come back and clean up once it recalculates this. Okay, so there's our adaptive. Now to come clean that up, what I'd like to do is do a 2D and pocket. We'll use... Uh, let's see, tool 25 it looks like. So let's go grab a tool. Tool 25 is a 3 flat. And for the geometry, I'm just going to click on, I can click on the wall or the floor here, it doesn't really matter. Let's click on the floor, is the area that I want to machine. Let's take a look at the heights. I'm going to change some things in the heights in a second. We'll see, we'll work through that. On the passes tab, one of the things that's nice about the 2D pocket is you can turn on finishing passes. So I could, I could specify what I want for the total, uh, what I want my step over value, my finishing step overs to be on there. So I'm gonna set this to be 0 0.006. That's gonna match what you what we left earlier. I don't wanna leave any stock to leave in this case. Let's go over to the linking tab. Nothing to really change there yet. And then I'll choose okay. Infusion will take a second to calculate this and then you'll see that we get a, a pocket that finishes the floor and then makes one cleanup pass around the outside to uh, finish the walls. Now, this has already been pre-roughed, so there's really no reason to do a helix entry move to get down into that. So let's go see if we can adjust that a little bit. I'm going to edit this pocket. I'm going to edit the pocket. And I'm going to go over to the geometry tab. I'm sorry, I'm going to go to the heights tab. And on the heights tab for the top height, we're cutting from the, the stock top and we're cutting down to the selected contours. Instead, I'm gonna cut from the selected contour to the selected contour. So I'm really not cutting anything yet, kind of going in the same plane. Now I'm just gonna positive offset it of the amount that we left in the previous adaptive. So I'm gonna type in 0 0.006 inches. It leaves me six thousandths of an inch that's gonna go above it and I'm gonna click OK. So calculate. And if we look, it got a lot better, but there's still some uh, helix moves in there that I don't so much care for. So I'm gonna edit that one more time. And I'm gonna go over to the linking tab. And on the linking tab, you'll find something here called the ramp clearance height. And I'm gonna set this to be a thousandths of an inch. So 0 0.001, go ahead and click OK. And there you see we get just a little half helix going in for both the roughing and the pocketing moves it looks like. Um, but it just kind of kisses the material, so we're not wasting a lot of time cutting air. We're just going down there, finishing a pass, making a cleanup pass around the outside. So anyway, if you don't like the look of the horizontal tool path, this is an alternate method. I rarely ever use 2D Pocket for anything anymore other than uh, in the, what I'm doing in this case, which is using it as a finishing strategy. So I hope that helps in uh, figuring out maybe a different alternate toolpath you can use that will help get rid of those adaptive up-down moves and uh, will leave a smoother surface finish on the bottom of your part. If you have any questions, please let me know. Talk to you later.